What's going on, the friends? My name is m 3 and welcome back to another episode of Super Mario Sunshine, and this is the Super Mario 3D All-Stars version on the Nintendo Switch. We are now revisiting these worlds here, and we are going to be collecting the blue coins and the 100 coins, uh, now that we have the accessibility to get all the blue coins and the 100 coins. Uh, for the 100 coins, I, I could actually get them uh, much earlier, but I decided to save, to save them uh, now. So we're starting off with uh, blue coins and then 100 coins. Uh, it'll be easier this way, so that way when I start doing the hundred, when I when I start doing the hundred coins, the blue coins just won't be in my way, and then that would be a little. That'll make the that'll make things a little bit disorganized. So, blue coins. There are uh, blue coins are extra collectibles they can get throughout the game as you're exploring around every world and exploring the plaza as well. There are a total of 240 blue coins within the game. Every world has 30 blue coins to obtain, and uh, when you're going around figuring out which blue coins to get, some missions, uh, some blue coins can only be obtained in certain missions due to how the worlds are laid out within within certain missions. Conveniently for Bianco Hills. You can get every blue coin within episode 8. And that is what I'm doing to get all the blue coins here. So that way I don't have to exit the course and figure out which uh, which mission will have the blue coins. And that's what I'm going to try to do for as many um, worlds, uh, for, uh, for all the worlds here. So I'm going to try to see how many blue coins I can get within every world before I have to leave the course. Uh, and thankfully for Bianca Kills, I don't have to do that. Of course, if you're trying to get some of these blue coins within other missions, then it may not be possible to get all the blue coins. Uh, for example, that one right there where I sprayed the Piazza, uh, that one can only be obtained in either... Well, actually, that one in particular can be in, it can be in any mission, but except for episode one. Except he's actually located in, in different spots depending on which mission you select. Uh, there's also another Piazza that you can spray, and that one is only available. Or, well, yeah, that one's only available in either uh, episodes five, six, seven, or eight, really. And then um, uh, Yoshi is also required for some of the blue coins as well, as you can see. And so Yoshi is located in the beginning in, of Bianca Hills, and uh, Yoshi does want a random fruits. You can usually find all the fruits that, that, that he needs in, uh, somewhere around this in this general area. Um, it's another reason why I saved the blue coins up until now, is so I can get all get them all at once now, uh, with, and including the one with, with the ones with Yoshi. Um, so this is how we're going to be getting blue coins here. Is these are all going to be fast forwarded with music. And then, um, if it, if it takes a while for me to get a blue coin, then you will be seeing some cuts here, here and there. Uh, alright. What's the next one that I'm gonna go for? Okay, here's, um, you, you can spray that windmill right there, and a, a blue coin will appear right over there. And then here's one of the, I guess one of the first blue coins that you can get in, within the game is the... M graffiti. Most blue coins are lo are hidden behind uh, M graffiti, so if you just spray them, uh, that won't be the case for every single one of them. But um, M whenever you see an M graffiti, it's always a good idea to just, to just spray them. Uh, and then also, uh, every world has shape graffitis, where there you'll see graffitis uh, like you know, forming a, a shape. And there's usually, and they usually come in pairs. And whenever you spray them, then some of the, the then a blue coin will appear somewhere uh, with it where the opposite shape is. And then you have to get there as fast as you can before it disappears. When it disappears, you can go back, and the graffiti will actually come back, and you can try again at the uh, at, at the graffiti's. 
So anytime you see graffiti, you would very you pretty much want to want to spray them if you want to get blue coins. Most of the time with blue coins, you generally want to spray anything that you can spray, and most of and you're 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 very likely to have a blue coin uh, come out a uh, pop out of, of some of those things. Uh, but now here we are taking on the 100 coins after uh, after getting all the blue coins of Bianco Hills, and 100 coins is very is very different from 100 coin missions from Mario 64. Uh, one of the big the there's a couple big reasons why they're very different. Uh, one, you cannot pair 100 coins with other missions. Whenever you get the 100 coin shine spray, it's not going to appear right right above your 100 coin, and it's not and you're you. It does not. You don't. You don't stay in the within the level itself after the 100th coin shine spray. Uh, the other thing that makes 100 coins different from Mario 64 is that you're only relying on yellow coins to get 100 coins. Um, as red coins and blue coins do not count towards your coin count anymore. So uh, as a result. Not every mission is going to have 100 coins, so you have to pretty much study the the level well enough to figure out which missions are the best for 100 coins. Uh, for Bianco Hills in particular, you can do 100 coins in either six or eight. Uh, particularly eight, because if you try to do it with eight in eight, then the water is polluted and you probably might die. So, 8 is usually the safer option. So now here we are in Gelato Beach. And uh, Gelato Beach is where getting the 100 coins and blue coins are going to be a little bit... It's going to start to get... It's start, it, they're going to start becoming different. So, here in Gelato Beach, I'm starting off with episode 4. Because there are actually some blue coins that you can get within the Sanborn area. And then, also, there in this field of blue cataquacks, one of the cataquacks is red, and if you jump on the red cataquack, then you'll get a blue coin. And that's only exclusive to episode four. Uh, let me check this real quick. Episodes one, two, or four. And so, uh, ideally, I choose episode four so I could not have to. I can minimize the amount of revisits that I would have to take to for. Uh, getting all the blue coins here, just to make things a little bit organized. Um, and uh, you can, when you're spraying the sand, there will be like these shine spray arts, and those will form blue coins as well. And there's about four of them within the sand itself. And uh, that's available in every mission except for episode three. Uh, with the exception of one of them. Uh, so three, you can get three of them within, within every mission except for episode three, while the uh, Wiggler is running around. So, I get the rocket nozzle, because you probably want the rocket nozzle as your, to, uh, in order to get some of these blue coins. Actually, it's required. Um, so now we have bluebirds. There's two of them in this area, so that's two blue coins right there. Um, birds in this game in general are very annoying to get to spray. When you spray them, they're gonna be flying all over the place, and they pretty much move randomly, and they and they move very erratically. So it's very hard to spray them. Um, but the blue birds in particular will give you blue coins. So anytime you see a blue bird, you want to spray them. Uh, so that blue coin on top of those tight ropes requires the rocket nozzle. And then, finally, now we're heading inside the sandbird. And once again, this is these these blue coins are only available in episode four, where you can actually go inside the sandbird area. And there's about four blue coins that you can get here. And man, trying to get all the blue coins here while at the same time getting red coins is pretty scary. Probably one of the re one of the reasons why uh, people deem 
this area to be kind of hard. But once you get all four of the uh, blue points there, then you can pretty much get out of there. Um, it is recommended that you have the rocket nozzle. It'll make things a little bit. It'll make getting those blue points a little bit easier. But I had the hover nozzle, so it was a little bit. It was a little bit sketch, but not 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 too bad. And then I'm gonna get the rest of the blue points here in episode six because there is uh, one or just a few blue points that are only obtained with the uh, with Yoshi, and Yoshi only appears in episode six, just like that. And then this blue catacock here is exclusive to episode six as well. Uh, where when all the field of cataclysms are red instead of blue, and that's the only blue cataclysm within uh, that particular mission. So now that we have gotten all the blue points here in Gelato Beach, it's now time to take on the 100 points in, in Gelato Beach. Now, uh, Gelato Beach is probably one of the longest 100 coin missions in the game. So all the coins are just very far spa spaced out, and re there's not really a lot of coins. So, um, the best mission would probably be Episode 2. You can also get the 100 coins in Episode 3 or Episode 6. Some people also like to get, get it in Episode 8, where you, all you do is just keep popping the watermelons, and then the coins will always appear. But that is extremely tedious and extremely inefficient, so I choose not to do episode 8. I have always done the Magic Coins with episode 2. Uh, that's just that's just how I always did, did it. It's um, a little bit less inefficient to get them in episode 2, even though there's the most amount of coins in episode 2. And that's because there's a cutscene in the beginning where the guy is telling you that these cataquacks are disturbing the the sandbird. But I I, cho I choose this anyway. There's some coins underneath the hut right there. There's also a blue. Co there's also a single coin if you spray the the fruit machine as well, the blender. And then, of course, you can jump on these cataclysms to get even more coins. And then here's this is one of the reasons why I like getting getting hundred coins in episode two. <coughs> um, there are all there are a lot of these strings of coins that you can just they can get either by having the cataclysm blast you up to the coins or by using the rocket nozzle. Uh, but there we go. That's the hundred coins of Gelato Beach. Uh, on average, the hundred coins in this mission take like ten minutes. So it's a very long one. But now we're moving on to Peanut Park. And Peanut Park has some very tough blue coins to get. So I'm starting off with episode two. Because um you wanna choose either episodes either episode two or four where you're out in the beach to start out with. Uh, ideally episode two. Because these blue coins here in the basket can only be obtained in episode two, uh, because the because you have to break these baskets using the bullet bills, and these bullet bills kind of have a mind their own. They will they will be able to break to break the baskets, but then of course sometimes not really. Um, even even the purple bullet bills, even the purple bullet bills are supposed to be hom homing bullet bills, but they don't. They won't always break the basket for you. And they'll just aim straight at you. It's pretty annoying. Um, but um, yeah. So some of these blue coins can only be obtained. In, it can can be obtained in either two or four. Um, I choose two because uh, it's more efficient that way for these blue coins here in the beach. And then I leave. There's ten blue coins you can get in the beach. So, there we go. And then the rest of the blue coins I'm going to be getting here in the park. Uh, I choose episode 6. Uh, because episode 6 is the most efficient to get the rest of these blue coins here. Check this out here. I'm being destroyed by this electric Koopa. And I was about to die, but thankfully I didn't die. That would have been really sad if I died during a blue coin mission. So... Um, this particular bluebird, bluebirds in Peanut Park in particular are really painful because they tend to fly around like behind a bunch of different objects and it gets really annoying when they do that. 
Okay, uh, wall jump underneath that to get uh, that particular blue coin. I like to kill, I like to just defeat the um, electric Koopas just so they're out of my way. And it, help, and it helps to get them out of your way when you're trying to spray these um, shape graffitis. There are two uh, shape graffitis, the X and the triangle graffitis. So that's four blue coins for you to get right there. Uh, that one in particular is a little bit tricky. Um, going up is harder than going down. When you're going down, you have plenty of time to, to get that blue coin. And then here, I'm looking for a blue bird. That blue bird right there. And uh, just like the other one, this one is high. When this one gave me a lot, uh, quite a bit of troubles here, as it's uh, it flies around very erratically. And then I finally got the blue coin. But then it just barely dropped on the water, and um, Yoshi does not like water. I don't. I don't think I've ever, I've explained that, but Yoshi does not like water. So if he touches water, he's he's then he's gone. You have to uh, get Yoshi again. And the fruit's random, so you have to check which which fruit Yoshi wants. So here in the park, you want to. There's a butterfly right there. Butterflies can all be eaten with Yoshi. So anytime you see a blue butterfly, then that probably means you need Yoshi for that. Alright, so right there, another blue coin. And then, there's also a few blue coins that you can get right here, right by the Ferris wheel. And then there is another shape graffiti here. Okay, so there's three shape graffitis. I lied. Look so get the O's right there. And then, head up over here to the top to, to fall down and on, on these on these two blue coins right here, and then this blue coin in, is really tricky because you have to wait for the ship to make a full rotation, and then you want to jump from the the swinging boats while it's doing its full rotation, and that can be kind of tricky. It can actually be it can sometimes be hard to um, it can be easy to slide off the boats. But now here we are doing the 100 coins, and the 100 coins is probably one of the easiest 100 coins in the game. Actually, it's the easiest 100 coin mission in the game. Because all you gotta do is just spray the sand here. This can be done in any mission except for uh, uh, episode 2. And if you spray the sand, oh man, there's a lot of coins. And then also these enemies right here, they drop 5 coins whenever you, whenever you defeat them. So... You should not struggle at all with this mission at all. And then, get the 100 coins, shine, out here in the beach, and did not even have to enter the park at all. And with that, that is the 100 coins of Peanut Park, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.